Moving all the way over to the right-hand side of the content browser, we have the Tags panel. Now, the Tags panel allows us to manage the tags applied to assets here inside the content browser. So what is a tag? A tag is just a label. We can put as many tags as we want on any given asset, and they're here to help us more easily identify what an asset could be used for or perhaps where we've used it before. You can make up a tag for anything you like and put it on any asset. And that's what this panel is all about. It's adding tags to assets, removing tags, creating new tags, or getting rid of entire categories of tags. So let's just take a quick look at this. Now I'm going to click on the All Assets button to make sure that I've cleared out my filter by clicking on the Clear button in the upper corner. And let's just select this Texture 2D for the Deathmatch. Now when I select this, you'll notice in the Tags panel that this already has a tag applied. Being special, it's under the Material category. So if I scroll down here inside my list of various uh, tags, you can actually see the Material category, and there's the special tag, which has been applied to this object. But let's say I want to apply another tag for some reason. Maybe I also think that this would be a great texture to include in the Miscellaneous category under Effects. Well, all I need to do is come down under Effects, there's the mis miscellaneous tag. I can click on the little plus button next to it, and now I've added another tag to it. But then I think, you know, I shouldn't have added that tag. That's not really going to help me. It's not particularly useful. So let's go ahead and remove that tag. Up here inside the applied tags area, I can click on the little red minus sign. It only turns red when you mouse over it. But when I click on that, that tag is no longer applied. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now let's say I want to apply a tag but I only want to apply one of the tags available to materials. So if I come down here under Manage Tags and come to the filter, start to type in Materials, and I only get it to Matt, and it immediately narrows down to the material group and only those tags included within it. So that's very easy. But then I'm thinking, you know, Special is a little vague, so maybe I should create my own tag set to apply to these textures. So let's take a look at that. Down in the lower right-hand corner, we have the ability to create a new tag. In fact, if I reduce the size of the content browser a little bit, let's close out the material editor back here in the background, I can click on Create Tag, and you'll notice it has its own little tooltip, Create a New Tag that can be applied to assets. So now that you've seen that, let's expand back out. I'm going to click Create Tag, and we get a window that asks for the group that we're going to place this in, and the name. Now the name can't be empty, so let's call this, let's say, game type screens, because that makes sense. Now under the groups, we can create our very own new group if we want, uh, or we could just pick on material, and this new, uh, new tag will actually appear here underneath the material category. But just for the fun of it, let's create our own. So we'll call this custom tags. Click create. Now, nothing appeared over here because our filter is still narrowed down to material. So if I clear out my filter, if we scroll down, here's custom tags, and here are game type screens. So what I can do is grab all these screen images, and then come over here to the game type screens and click plus, and there you go. Now they all have the game type screens tag applied to them. So now, if I'm searching and I search for textures, we can scroll down and there's custom tags available here inside the filter section and here are my game type screens so I can really quickly narrow down right to those objects because I've applied a new tag so let's clear out the filter section and then at some point I decide you know what that tag was a really cool idea but I really don't want to use it anymore we can take this entire custom tag section come down to destroy tag click on that and let's just click on the game type screens tag so as I mouse over the little minus button it uh, turns red for us Click there, and we get a warning that this is uh, completely non-undoable, that this is for good. So let's click the Destroy button, and there we go. That's gone. So now if I select these objects, you'll notice that that tag is completely history. So by doing this, you've already seen how we can create our own tags, how we can apply them, how we can remove them, and you got to see how up inside the filter panel, those tags will appear and allow you to more easily search for a specific asset. So by all means, make use of this. You know, even if you notice that there are tags that you know maybe could be applied to certain assets that would make more sense to you, you know, go ahead and apply them. If you uh, see some tags that you think maybe would be better for you to have, create your own tags, apply them to assets. Use this as a way to help you more easily find those assets you want to place in your level. That is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.